Matty Graham here from Exponential Performance Coaching. With the introduction of the Pioneer multi-day mountain bike race, I've had a lot of questions about what is the best way to train for such an event. Often people really struggle training for such a long event, especially when they're using traditional endurance training methods. So what I've done is I've put together a free video series that outlines the key ways that you can train smarter for such an event. In the videos I cover the four most important training elements that will allow you to get the most out of your training. These four areas are body maintenance, aerobic engine development, strength endurance and anaerobic threshold development. So just quickly, what are these areas? Well body maintenance is all about making sure that your body's in good condition ready to race. It doesn't matter how fit you are, if you've got a niggly knee, lower back or neck and shoulders, you're only going to be able to race so hard or potentially even pull out of the race because of these. The next thing you need to focus on is that aerobic engine. This is that being able to ride all day, that endurance. Now when it comes to training for such a big endurance event, traditional training approaches become very, very hard, especially if you're working a full-time job and have a family life. So what I want to do is in this video series is outline a few techniques that we can use to cheat the system so to speak. How can you maximize your aerobic metabolism? How can you use high intensity interval training to replace some of your endurance miles? And how can you use super compensation loads to get the most out of yourself? With the Pioneer having almost twice the vertical elevation of Mount Everest, you need to be seriously good at climbing. So I want to outline some techniques for you that help you improve your prolonged force production, which is your strength endurance, and how to optimize your power to weight ratio. The final thing you need to focus on is your anaerobic threshold. Most people have heard of it. Not many people truly understand it and how to apply it for endurance athletes. Your anaerobic threshold is how much of your aerobic engine you can use. By focusing on developing your anaerobic threshold, you'll improve your ability to hold a sustained race pace which is going to be critical for you if you want to have a good performance and get through the Pioneer unscathed. So all you need to do now is click the link in the middle of the screen or hit the link below and head over and watch the first video. Remember, you have to train hard to get the most out of yourself, but it's more important that you train smarter. I'll see you over in the next video.